Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am here with all of you, bringing another delicious and very easy recipe. The ingredients for this recipe are simple and easily available. And trust me, this recipe is perfect for any chocolate lover. So let's get started. But before we begin, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing as your support means a lot to me. Now let's first thing first, in a large bowl, crack 6 large eggs and add 1 fourth cup of sugar. Now grab your trusty beater and blend the eggs and sugar mixture until it is smooth and creamy. Now for the perfect cake texture, I am using half a cup of cake flour. If you don't have cake flour on hand, don't worry, you can easily substitute with all purpose flour. But make sure to sift the flour before using, because when we sift the flour, it becomes lighter and fluffier and it easier to blend with other dry ingredients. Also it perfectly rises during the baking time. Now add 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder for the extra chocolatey goodness. After adding the dry ingredients, slowly whisk the dry ingredients with a soft hand, ensuring the batter reaches a smooth and consistent texture. Now let's prepare the baking tray. I am using a rectangular shape for the cake. First spray the tray and then place parchment paper on the tray to prevent sticking. Then pour the batter evenly into the tray. After pouring the batter, pop the tray into a preheated oven set at 180 Celsius 350 Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it to avoid over baking because we want it to be perfectly moist and tender cake, not overcooked. While the cake is baking, let's get started on the heavenly chocolate frosting. Grab a large chocolate bar and chop it up with a sharp knife. Now in a small pan add 2 cups of water and let it boil. After boiling the water place a bowl with the chocolate on top and allowing it to melt the chocolate. In a separate bowl add 1 third cup of heavy whipped cream and whip it until it forms soft and peaks. Now slowly fold into the whipped cream half of melted chocolate.
and mix it with the help of blender. Now once the cake is done baking and has cooled slightly, remove the parchment paper from the bottom and cover with the extra parchment paper. Now before layering the chocolate, remove the parchment paper from the top. Now gently layer the chocolate cream mixture into the cake, making sure to spread it evenly. For the delightful surprise, you can even add some crushed chocolate or chocolate chips for added texture. Honestly, this is where the fun begins. Carefully roll the cake using parchment paper to create that classic Swiss roll shape. Don't worry about perfection, it will look stunning regardless. Once you done roll the cake, place the rolled cake on a cooling crack tray and drizzle leftover chocolate and cream batter on top for an extra dose of indulgence. And for the extra presentation, you can sprinkle some sparkles. There you have it, the most creamy and delicious chocolate roll cake. I hope you give it a try and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more mouthwatering treats. Until next video, take care and bye.